Have you ever watched a NASA live stream of a rocket launch? Followed the Space Gal or the Galactic Gal on social media? Seen an episode of Bill Nye or used the instructions in your at-home COVID-19 kit to set up your test? Science communication plays a large, often invisible role in our daily routines, but it is one of the most important forms of communication within a society. Chances are you've engaged with science communication more times than you realize, and it probably made you either more interested in a topic or it helped you solve an answer to a question you had, like, do I have COVID-19? Or can you grow potatoes on Mars? Hi, I'm Shereen Dooling, a visual science communicator, and this is Space for Humans. Science communication can take many forms. Outreach events held by a local science center, publications like those in journals such as Nature, and articles written for the public on topics such as the Apollo moon landings. NASA's social media profiles on everything from documenting their missions to sharing information on climate change are also considered science communication. New images dropping from the James Webb Space Telescope are constantly redefining our understanding of the universe. Images like Jade's GS Z14-0 are taking us back in time, 300 million years after the Big Bang to be exact, and NASA is using science communication through social media to tell us what these pictures mean. There are also people who have made entire careers within the category of science communication. Informational images called infographics are also an important tool within the field of science communication. These can be a detailed and annotated drawing of a rocket with labels, or a map of the moon with valleys and craters. Infographics can also be considered instructions that help the public walk through a task to gain information about their health, like the instructions in a COVID-19 test. One of the most popular forms of an infographic is the periodic table, because it visually represents a large amount of data using a structured visual format. Science communication is incredibly important in our society today and will be increasingly more important to our society as we make our way into the cosmos. Its purpose is to break down complex and often abstract concepts, making them easier to understand. Simplifying technical jargon and creating an accessible understanding for those who may not be experts in the sciences. It sparks interest in learning new things and fosters engagement in topics that might otherwise be overlooked as too complicated. It helps increase public support while addressing misinformation. And maybe most importantly, it can inspire future scientists and engineers to reach for the stars or the powerhouse of the cell, the mitochondria. Why is this important? Because knowledge is power. It helps us formulate the best decision, not only for ourselves, but for our communities. This kind of decision-making has a ripple effect and good decisions can create lasting positive effects. The Artemis missions will place the first woman and person of color on the moon, but the technology that happens along the way will benefit us here on Earth. Effective science communication helps the public understand this concept while providing transparency in what your tax dollars are funding. And isn't that what we all want? To know how our hard-earned money is being spent and understand how it will benefit our lives here on Earth. Thank you for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe for more Space for Humans. The power. Oh, I want to take this. <laughs> Should I do that? I don't know. Yeah? <laughs> like, uh. <laughs> Maybe I will do that like this, this guy. <laughs>